going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be going over some useful software which I think you will find useful. Now with these softwares they are free, however with a couple of them there are a paid version however you won't need it and you will see why later in this video. Now as always the things I'll be showing you in this video there will be a direct download link to it in the description. So this is the first program known as LibreOffice. Now this is basically Microsoft Office, however, 100% free. So it is going to have everything you will need. It has its own PowerPoint, it has its own Word, and of course it has its own Excel. Of course, they're not called that. I believe the PowerPoint version is called Libri Impress. The Word version is called Libri Office Writer. And the Excel version is called Libri Office Calculator. Now that is not all that comes with it, of course there are more, but these are the main ones that of course people will be using. So like I mentioned, it is 100% free, and as you can see this is the website right here. It's really simple, download now, and you can see you then select your operating system. It is also available on Mac, if there are any Mac users that have clicked on this video, and also Linux. Now I've been using this program myself for a long time now, it's been really useful, it's been really easy to use, and like I mentioned, it is 100% free. Now you can see here, these are uh, different things that are coming with LibreOffice. Like I said, the writer, calculator or calc, impress, which is the presentations. There's also draw, base, and also these things here. Now you'll also see in my previous tutorials, I also have them on my taskbar. So I haven't just downloaded it for this video. This is something I actually use. So I can open this up and this is the writer. For example, when I do make my podcasts, I make them all right here. So as you can see, this is LibreOffice Writer. It looks exactly like Word. It has everything you'll need and it's a great substitute and it's definitely 100% free. And the next one I'm going to be showing you is LightShot. Now LightShot is a very simple thing. It has one specific job and that is to screenshot something on your PC. Now it's not just the normal screen or print screen. This one, you actually have a few more options. So again, this one is 100% free. I think I've been using this program specifically for over two years. It's come across very useful, no problems at all. Again, this is also available on Mac. So Lightshot, I'll actually use this for you right now. So I already have it open. You can see in my taskbar here, it's gonna run in the background. So it barely takes up any CPU, so don't worry about that. The reason it's running for me right now is because I have the setting on where as soon as my laptop turns on, LightShot will also run at the same time. So very simple. Once you have opened it, I can press screenshot on my keyboard. You can see, well, I'm not sure if it's going to show on my screen recorder, but the screen has now dimmed down a bit and it's saying select area. I can then left click and you can see I can drag out a box. A great thing about this, at the top left, it is telling us our dimensions. So that, of course, will be useful for those that work in Photoshop. If you need to be precise, then there you go. Now, for example, I'm just going to pick this part, so I'm going to left click and let go of the mouse. So I did mention it's a bit more than just a screenshot, and you can see these are now different settings we get. So we can upload it, and this means you'll then get a direct link to this screenshot, and you can share it with your friends. You can get a share button. You can put uh, such similar images, you can print it, you can copy it, and of course you can save it, which is going to put it to your desktop. Now before we do any of them, you can see over to the side we now have some tools. So you can see we have a pen tool, we have a line tool, we have an arrow tool, we have a rectangle tool, we have a marker tool, and we have text tool, and of course we have our color. So for example right now I'm going to pick black, I'm going to select OK, I'm going to get the text, left click here, and I'll just put in casual and let's just say for example I'm gonna get a line and I'm gonna underline light shots because of course this is the main thing right now you can see it's underlined and then let's say we don't want to save it onto our computer directly what we want to do is upload it to this website so I'm gonna press upload as you can see at the bottom right it's uploading the image now just like that it's done it's given us this link we can then copy that link now I'm gonna to go to that link and as you'll see this is going to provide that screenshot we have just taken, just like that. And you'll be able to send this screenshot to anyone you would like. On to the next one is Malwarebytes. Now this is one of the programs which are free, however it does also offer a paid version, but 
it's not necessary. Once again, this is also available on Windows as well as Mac and also Android. So what is Malware Bytes? Well, you can pretty see it on the screen right now and it basically gives it away in the title of what the program is actually called. So you can see if I come to my tray here, you can see I have it running. And yes, I do have the trial opened. Now, when you first download it, it will give you the free trial, which means you're gonna get 14 days of the fully advanced version, which means the full version. After that 14 days, you won't be on premium, you will be on the free one. However, this program will still come across as useful. So as you can see, it says, let's get started by cleaning your machine. All you do is select scan now. What this will do is scan your PC, your hard drive, external hard drives if they're connected, and any virus picked up, it will be detected and you can see you can get reports on it at the end. Now you can also come to the scan itself and you can choose how you want the scans. What I do recommend if you if you know you have a lot of things on your PC, let one run overnight. So let a very long scan run overnight and just let it see what it can pick up. Of course it's your PC, you don't want it to be broken and you want all malware off your PC. Another great feature about this, you can scan schedule so you can see you can pick when you want to do it. And then we have the settings here where you can just go over and customize things to your needs. To be honest, for me, I don't need to ch touch anything, but you can go over them if you would like to. So here is the price of the premium version. Now this is a yearly subscription and in my opinion, it is very cheap. So it's 30 pounds. Now, I believe that is close to about 40, 45 US dollars. So again, it's not too much if you're spending that once a year to protect your PC. Now, of course, you are getting a better deal if you are gonna do the two year subscription, although it may be more expensive. If you buy two one year subscriptions, you're gonna be paying 60 pound. If you buy a two year subscription straight up, you're gonna be spending 45 pounds, which is gonna be saving you, of course, 15 pounds. Now also at the bottom you can see it is 30 day money back guarantee so if you don't like it or you feel the program isn't suiting what you need it for you can always be refunded. And the final program is known as Magic Jelly Bean Key Finder. Now this has one specific reason to have this and it's pretty simple. If you're the type to have a lot of programs installed on your computer, stuff basically Vegas, Movie Studio, etc., then you're going to have a lot of keys to remember. So what does Product Key Finder actually do? So what it does is basically saves your keys. So when you install Vegas, for example, it asks for a serial number and that serial number will then be saved to this program. So if you ever need to install Vegas on another computer and you may have lost the email, you forgot your email, you'll have it saved. So there's your backup. And this is another one where it's going to be free. However, there is also a paid version. You can see the difference right there where what the paid version offers and what the free version offers. In my opinion, the free version can do everything for you. But that is it for this video. I hope this video has come across as useful. And like I mentioned at the start, download links to these programs I've shown you will be in the description. I'll be back soon with another video.